Hi guys. Hello. Hi guys, what's up? Okay, you know what? Okay, happy new year. It's a good new year. I'm so excited to get back into YouTube this year. Like, I know I took a one month break, but now that it's 2021, I'm like, you know what, new year, let's try to be active. So we're gonna be doing that. And I thought like, why not for my first YouTube video back, do something that's been so highly requested that so many people have been asking me for so long, and that is how I edit my Instagram pictures. I love editing my pictures, you know, like making them kind of cool, like adding some effects, you know, like I could change up the whole background and you guys wouldn't even know because I'm, you know, just that good of an editor, like I'm just that skilled, you know. Sorry if this is a shock to you, but not everything you see online is real. So I asked on my Instagram story and Twitter what pictures you guys wanted me to explain how I edited them and yeah. First, I'm going to show you all the apps I use, and then I'm going to get into how I use them and how I use them to, like, do all my signature edits, you know? Like, replacing the sky with, like, a different sunset, um, adding lightning and some storms, or, like, adding butterflies, something simple like that, or, um, you know, just adding stuff to pictures, um, or how I do the glitch effects or fire coming from my hands. So, I created a folder showing you guys all the editing apps I use. These are like the primary ones, you know, the ones that I use always when I edit my Instagram pictures. <laughs> so, these are my like for sure necessary apps. So, I know a lot of you already know how to like add filters to pictures and stuff like with Visco or Lightroom or Prequel. So, if you want to skip ahead, I put some timestamps in the description. Um, or if you want to skip to any like specific tutorials or anything, um, I put a list of everything I'm doing in the video, so everything's in the description. I hope that helps. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how I like add filters to my pictures. The basic thing that like just spices up the picture a little bit. So what I use for that always, to edit the coloring and saturation and stuff like that, if I want to be just like chill and easy, I'll always go into Visco. Um, everyone knows what Visco is, you know, I use this all the time to edit my Instagram pictures. The only filter I really use for basically any picture is this SS1 because like you see, it really just adds like a pop of color to everything. There's also some other really good ones and you can honestly play around with them most of the time. And my other favorite feature on here is the HSL feature. You can also do this on Lightroom, but I generally just do it on Visco. And it's basically where you can like edit what the colors look like. So for example, you can change the hue of the reds and I'll do this a lot like with skies, I'll lower the sky to make it like completely gray. So I'll get the blue and just like cut it out completely, you know? Um, but I always up the redness a little bit so like my cheeks are brighter. Yeah, I always sharpen my pictures more. Like even if it, you can't really tell that much of a difference, it really helps like the pictures look better quality on Instagram. Then my next favorite app is Lightroom. So what you can do with this app, you can see I was already editing a picture. I posted this picture on my Instagram. Um, so I posted this picture on Instagram. There's still a, lot, a bunch of other edits I did to it after this. So it, as you can see, like, it was so gray and, like, dull before. That's the real world. The real world is so gray and dull and, like, yeah, so that's the before, this is the after. It's just, like, what I always do, there's no, like, specific thing I do. I just play around with the exposure, um, highlights, like, as you can see, that's what I did. I always up the vibrancy for the colors and maybe make it a little bit warmer in my pictures because I just like the look that that gives it. The vibrancy like just makes the colors really pop, you know? Something that I love about Lightroom is, and I'll do this all the time, is I'll up the sharpening of it so that it makes it look um, better quality. But the problem is if you up the sharpening, it kind of like adds like a little bit of grain to it. If you like zoom in, you can see that. So what I'll do is I'll up this noise reduction and it, it's kind of like also like a smoothing effect, like it makes your skin look nicer and also makes the picture look better quality while removing like the extra like noise and like glitchiness that it adds to the picture if you sharpen it too much. So I'll always do that. Yeah, so Visco, Lightroom, really good for editing the colors, um, making things brighter, especially like sunsets, making things warmer. That's really, when I edit my pictures, I always like to make them warmer, brighter colors. Okay, and finally, prequel. I love prequel. So I love, I use it for TikToks all the time. It's like, it has such good filters. Um, I'm not really gonna do anything specific with it, but like, I'll use it all the time to edit pictures. For example, um, this picture is already edited, but you can just play around with the filters. It's honestly one of my favorite apps. It has so many good filters. 
like adding sparkles if you like that. But I like mixing the filters, um, the effects and the filters a lot. It's just self-explanatory. You, you go through it, you find what filters you like, what effects you like, and just play with it, you know? If I have to choose my favorites for Instagram, I like the disco effect a lot. This polar effect is really nice, but this color blur, I really like it because it adds kind of like a ghostly, but also like glowing effect to the pictures. Uh, bubble gum is really nice to add because it makes it like pinkish and bright. Miami, really nice. The back to school, really like, I use this on TikToks also. It just makes things, you know, like brighter and, you know, just, I don't know. <laughs> I just like how it looks. Um, and this hypno thing, you can see how it like makes the picture brighter. But like, it depends on what vibe you're going for, you know? And they have other like darker filters, brighter filters, you know, whatever. Okay, next basic app, easiest ed type of editing for whatever, um, Pixar. This is like such a fun app to use. I'm sure all of you know what Pixar is. Everyone uses Pixar. My favorite thing to do with Pixar is to use the stickers feature they have. So I'll get like butterflies or flowers and stuff and I'll get those in the stickers feature and then add them in. So I already posted this picture on Instagram but with all the edits. So basically what I did with this is I went to the stickers effect. There's already butterflies there but like if I just searched up butterfly aesthetic, obviously got to add aesthetic, you know, because we want our pictures to look aesthetic. I'll add in, I don't know, let's add in this little butterfly here. This is not going to be exactly the same as I did on Instagram because I spent like way more time. But like, I basically just got a bunch of butterflies and put them everywhere. Okay, so that I actually think I like this better than how I did it on Instagram. <laughs> I always use these stickers on my Instagram pictures. Like literally I have so many pictures with butterflies stickers from Pixar on them. Um, just because I really like it. I have pictures with roses, you know, just filling up the background because it kind of adds something like adding emojis to it. It's kind of fun, you know. Then what I also did with this one is I looked up sparkles, aesthetic. Again, we need the aestheticness. Um, and I just like added it everywhere around like that. And since you see it's like going over my face, I did not want that. So there's this erase feature and you can just go and erase all the stuff from areas you don't want it like that. So boom, done, easy. So once I was done with this picture in Pixar, I saved it, you know? Then I went to Visco, put my favorite one on it, SS1, lower it a little bit. And so then, just to like make everything work a little bit better, it already looks pretty nice, this picture, honestly, without the filter, but I did go and I added an effect. I think it was the disco one, no, maybe it was. It was, yeah, it was this disco effect. And I just like edited the star intensity lowered how big they were, um, lowered the filter. That's pretty much how it was, how I did it for my Instagram picture. You know, pretty easy, pretty simple. So next thing I, I really like doing to my pictures a lot is I'll like add drawings to the clouds or around the people. It's kind of something I saw on Pinterest or on my explore page and I saw people doing it. So what I'll do for that is, again, I will use Pixar. So what I'll do with this is I'll just go to draw, um, go to the color, select white, edit the size. I think the size is already at what I normally set it, which is 12. And you know, just like draw onto the clouds. So I'll go around like the edges, outline like that. Okay, so that's like a pretty quick version. So I'll go and like outline whatever I want and then I'll go in and I'll add like little drawings of things. Yo, that one's so ugly. But <laughs> let's ignore that. You know, just like anything you want you can add and it makes it look like, it just makes the picture look really cute, I don't know, in my opinion. So I'll use that, or I will also use Procreate. Um, it's much more like of an advanced app and like lots of people use it. You really don't need it, um, but I'll use my, my Apple Pencil because it's more precise and like there's different brushes I can use and really just do whatever I want. But for like the fun little aesthetic effect, Pixar is a really good one to use for that. Next one is something that I really do a lot to my pictures, like that I know a lot of you guys have been asking for, and it's where I will like replace the sky. A lot of times, the, I don't like how the sky looks when it's there's a sunset, so I'll replace it with a different sunset, 
or if it's dark at night and I want to add like a storm clouds, I'll add some storm clouds. Or if I just want to add like clouds, I use the app Superimpose. Um, there's another version. This is the version I like more because it's newer. Um, so it's called Superimpose X. So this is a picture that I posted on Instagram, but as you can see, there's no sunset in the background. So what I'll do is I'll get a sunset that I actually like. So you can take this picture yourself or you can find like anywhere else. Just get a picture of a sunset. So what you do is you get the picture and you make sure it covers the whole picture so that you're not having any gaps. Put it behind the layer of you and then go to the picture of you. There's a couple ways you can do this. You can blend it and it'll just like erase the sky in the background. And so what I'll do is I'll do that and then I'll add another layer of me on top. And go to mask, mask tools, this tool, and select this guy. So it kind of looks a little bit like obviously very fake. So then what I'll do is I'll go again, mask tool, select the brush effect, go to settings, turn the brush smoothness all the way up, and then feathered brush. And then you go over the areas that look really fake. I'm doing this really quickly. Normally I go like way slower with this um, so that it looks as good as I can, but I'm just going quickly for the sake of the video. Then what I'll do is I'll go and save this picture. And as you can see, the hair is still a little bit messed up. This is where Facetune comes in. Obviously Facetune can be used to edit your face and everything. Obviously I use it to smooth my skin a lot of the times, fix like if the coloring is a little bit off on my skin. What I really like about Facetune is I can go with the tones. I'll go and select my hair color and then fill in the areas where it looks kind of fake um, so that it gets rid of that effect. And then I'll do it really, really roughly at first and then I'll go over with the brush effect after. Okay, obviously this isn't what it looks like on my Instagram picture and I did way better, but like you get the general idea. This is what I do. And then I'll go and add a filter on top of it so that it like all kind of blends together and looks realistic. So another thing, another sky which I'll do, like I said, is the storm. This is also another picture I posted on my Instagram. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get a picture like this. There can be clouds in the background if you want or the sky can be black, honestly, it doesn't matter. Then I'll find a picture of lightning that I really like that I think matches the picture. So I'll go like that once again, and then you can go to the blend feature and kind of just like look until it like matches. And you can just like go like that and until it like fills the area that you want it to be in. And then, so after that easily, again, go to the mask section, select the brush tool and kind of just erase the areas that you obviously don't want the storm in. See, like that's pretty cool. And then after when you add any filters or anything, it'll all like make it blend a little bit better. Um, if you saw my original Instagram picture, you would notice that there's two things that are different from this version and the other one. And that is that I had removed the pillar <laughs> and I made this building in the background way bigger. So I also use Superimpose for that. That's a much longer process. What I did is I put the storm in after. So what I did was I got this layer, got the sky, made sure it went covered the pillar, put it behind, and then went to the original picture got the mask tool and then erased the pillar basically until the buildings. Then what I did is again, add another layer of the, your same picture and I only erase this building. I'm doing this really quickly also. I took way longer when I was actually doing this. And then I inverted it, selected that and honestly just made it as big as I want like that. And then what I did is I did that same thing where I went and selected these buildings around and I just filled it, used them to fill in this gap where the pillar was. And so then with all those features that like I basically just showed you and once you play around with them then you can do so much besides just like changing the sky. You can like add flowers where there weren't like I did in these pictures or add jellyfish around you and honestly add anything you want. You can even look like you've painted flowers on your skin or on your tongue like I did in this picture. I promise you, I did not paint my tongue. Tons of people think I did, but it was just the power of superimpose. So please do not paint your tongues. Just go and edit it. That's basically everything I use superimpose for. Later on, I'm gonna show you how I did do the fire thing, which slightly involves um, superimpose. It's a really useful app and I honestly love that app so much. Um, but I learned how to edit with this app so long ago when I was like 12 or 13. So don't worry, it will take time, but like it, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. 
So another thing a lot of people ask me how I do is how I add the like glitch effect to my pictures. And there's two main ways I get these glitch effects. The main one is this app called Glitché. So for example, in this Instagram picture, besides how I already went and like edited the background and just like made the background less saturated, which you can use Facetune, Superimpose, or Pixar for, they have tons of cool features on here, which you can like play around with the effects. One that I use a lot is this liquify effect. It makes it look like super like trippy and warpy. Then yeah, I save it and then I edit it even more with Superimpose. I did that also with glitching around my eyes where it's like warping and like looks like my eyes melting. I use that liquify feature. A lot of what I do for editing is I just play around with different features on apps until I get something that I like. And I promise you if you get these apps like you just play around with them, you'll get like some super cool edits. There's no like tutorial to give you exactly what you want. You kind of just need to go along with it, you know? Another picture people really requested with like a glitch effect was this one that I posted on Instagram. So what I did is I went to this cliche app again and I went to the, and I went to the LCD effect. And as you can see, once you press it, um, it really like, it like moves around the colors. I did that, went and saved it, and then I went into Superimpose. I put that as the background, and then I went and got the original picture again, and just erased the background. Yeah, this is a really rough version, but then I went in and added some filters from Prequel. Then I also really love this website that I found. It's on an app. I don't know if they have an app. Oh, wait, do they? Oh, yeah, I don't know if they have an app, but it's a website. And you can basically go in and play around with all the different glitch effects they have. So I'm just gonna use this picture just for fun. And like, if you just press Mosh, it'll like give you tons of like different options. And then if you want to get me even more specific, you press this effects thing and you can just go in and like select the things you want. Something I didn't mention also is this Rare Vision VHS app. And it's like a VHS app. So the main thing with glitching, with the glitch stuff I do on my pictures is I honestly just play around with all the apps I have, especially Glitché and Superimpose really like just play around with all the effects and features and you'll get something that you like for sure. Then finally, the last one, which I know a lot of people, so many people ask me for how I do, is how I get like the fire effect on my hands. There's two ways that I do this. The first one is again with Superimpose, really simple, really easy. I go and get the picture of me that I want and I went onto Google purposely and looked up fire pictures and blue fire pictures. And I found this one, go to the blend feature screen and then put it around my hand like that. Then obviously go into the masking area and erase all the areas which like kind of like you don't want like this hand. And boom, add a filter on top of that. Literally that's all I do. <laughs> That's all it is. It's super simple, super easy, and makes the picture look really cool. Then the second way is I go into Glitché again. I got the picture I wanted, which was this one, and I went to this burn effect. And basically all I did was I went around my hand like that. Then afterwards I went and saved it, got the version that I edited, put that below that layer, and then went around the fire with the tools, erasing the parts that I don't want until I just had it cleaned up. And then after that, to change the color of my shirt from blue to green, I just like went, selected that layer, the blue layer, and then went to the hue section and changed the color because you can just change the whole color of the picture. So as you can see, like there it's green and I just selected that bit and layered it on top. And yeah, so I think that's all the most requested editing tutorials that people ask for me for my Instagram pictures. Um, so I hope this video was useful. There's obviously like way more steps and like way more things that I do, but that just gives you like a general idea of how I edit my Instagram pictures and how you guys can get like the same effect or same vibe or do similar things. If you want me to make more videos like this, like if you have any other things that I didn't explain or didn't show how I edited, you can comment them below. Or if you want me to do a version for TikTok of how I edit my TikToks and how I do certain TikTok effects, let me know if this video was useful and make sure to like, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, obviously, since like this video is basically based around my Instagram pictures. <laughs> if I ever post something and you want to know how I edit it, just comment on that picture or go comment on any pictures now that you want to know how I edited them. And follow me on Twitter also for updates whenever I ask you guys for help with my videos. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> I hope you all have a good rest of your day and people I don't understand. <laughs> Bye. Follow her, follow her, burning fire, warm and burn, hot.
hot as the morning sun I wish I was her someone Follow her, follow her